This program is brought to you by Emory University. What's interesting about the X-Men is they take up a conversation that actually started in its modern form after World War II. And it started back in the Nuremberg Nazi doctors trials, as they're called, which were trials of 10 physicians and three Nazi administrators for human experimentations they had done of just the most horrific kind. The judges at that trial were so outraged, not only by what they heard that the Nazis did, but actually as the American um, uh, witnesses came in and the cross-examination brought out some of the things that were happening in the United States that were, if not equally terrible, pretty bad, um, which is one of the ways that the defense attorney tried to justify what uh, the Nazis had done. The judges were so appalled that they wrote the Nuremberg Code, which was the first real code of human experimentation that laid out in a very clear way with a whole set of standards what had to happen in order to ever use a human being in um, medical experimentation and included everything from uh, animal experimentation first to um, some assurance of the expertise of the investigators to full consent of the um, subjects. Believe it or not, even after that, it took another two decades before those kinds of um, even more than two decades, before those kinds of um, standards really began to be applied universally, at least in the developed world. It took that long also for the real breadth and depth of the Nazi atrocities to become known broadly, widely across society. People knew about them, but uh, a lot of them weren't talked about, especially in the 50s and early 60s. And part of that also was the movement of the 60s, things like disability rights movements and feminism that began to talk about empowering people to make those kinds of decisions. And when all of those things came together, interestingly, a lot of that stuff was discussed in comic books, especially Marvel comics, which were much more socially aware uh, than DC comics, for example, and talked about really tough social issues in a way that Superman and Batman didn't. Um, and so the X-Men became this fascinating discussion of majority-minority relationships, human experimentation, uh, the coming genetic sophistication. And then as you move into the 70s, you have around 75, the Asilomar meeting, which was a meeting of geneticists where they all got together and they said, um, well, a group of them got together in Asilomar, California, and said, we're beginning to mess with uh, a biological technology, genetic technologies of immense power and great possibility of causing harm. So we need to set up some guidelines, voluntary guidelines that everyone will use who engages in genetics of various kinds to make sure that we don't step over some ethical boundaries. So that conversation was percolating through American society and was reflected in groups like the X-Men. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.